Manchika Nandbani, radiologist. Good evening, everybody. I am Manchika Nandbani, radiology second year resident from SBKS MIRCC, Vadodara. My topic for paper presentation is evaluation of breast masses using mammography and sonography as first line investigations. Uh, my presenting author is uh, co-author co is Dr. Parthiv Brambhat. Breast diseases are common females in developing countries like India. Females are unaware of breast pathologies and are hesitant to reveal. Hence, they are detected usually in advanced stages. Various benign breast lesions like fibroadenoma, simple cyst, breast galactoseals, enlarged lymph nodes, and different malignancy pathologies of female breast. It is mm, the most common cause of cancer death in women. Overall, fifth common cause of cancer deaths in world. Delaying det detection causes malignancy to progress in advanced stages. Usually, it comprises of inoperable masses, METs, and eventually leads to mortality. Case studies, inclusion criteria, all patients with clinically palpable breast masses, usual USG, proven solid breast masses or complex cystic lesions, no obvious breast mass on palpation but prominent axillary nodes, females with clinical signs of redness over the breast area, nipple retraction, dryness and altered shape, known case of carcinoma breast with mastectomy done on one side, uh, familial history of breast mass in first degree relatives, exclusion criteria, very large and very tender breast, very apprehensive patient. Various pathologies in breast is fibroadenomas, malignancy, ductectasia, breast abscess, mastitis, perimenopausal fibrocystic changes. Confirmation is by FNAC of biopsy in doubtful cases, post-operative follow-up in operative cases. In cases of simple cyst and galactoseal, no histopath confirmation was done. Aspiration of cyst was done to confirm. No histopath done in case of normal ultrasound findings and normal mammo in patients complaining of apparent mass felt on clinical examination. Such patients refused to give consent for invasive histopath study after normal reports and they were labeled as normal. Hence, sensitivity and positive predictive value could not be obtained. Statistical analysis for comparison study was done and p-value was obtained. The value of specificity, negative predictive value, accuracy for ultrasound and mammo and overall breast masses were obtained when used separately and in combination. Fibroadenoma. Clinically, patients present with a history of freely movable lump in one or both breasts. Since few months to years, usually painless. On mammo, fibroadenoma shows well marginated soft tissue density, radio opacity with or without typical benign type of circumferential concentric calcifications, popcorn type of calcification. Many of fibroadenoma do not show calcification on ultrasound, well-defined round to oval lesion with homogeneous ecotexture and width greater than depth. Malignancies. Malignant masses present clinically with lump in the breast, retracted nipple, pain and bloody discharge, ulceration over the skin. Malignant lesions on mammo reveal irregular mass, speculated or lobulated margins, focal asymmetry. Lesions appear taller than wider, retracted nipple. Calcification may be linear, branching, granular, clustered with surrounding architectural distortion. Out of 30 dis diagnosed malignancy, chances of malignancies were higher in older patients. Then younger patients, two lesions were missed on MAMO and four were missed on USG. One of them was missed for both. For malignancy, specific of MAMO is 93% and that of USG is 87%. Case of ductal carcinoma. Cystic lesions present clinically with lump in the breast. On MAMO, cystic lesions appear well-defined soft tissue density lesion and could not be differentiated from solid masses like fibroadenoma. On ultrasonography, Cystic lesion can easily be diagnosed. For cystic lesions like simple cysts, multiple cysts in perimenopausal fibrocystic changes, galactoseal and in ductectasia, ultrasonography is far better than mammography. All the patients with ductectasia were above years and had complaints of turbid discharge from the nipple. Mammo in most of the ductectasia patients were labeled as normal mixed parenchymal pattern, except in one patient fatty breast was given. Ultrason ultrasonography proved to be problem solving in all the cases of ductectasia. Advantages of ultrasonography and limitations of ultrasonography in breast lesions. Advantages are no radiation of exposure, better detection of cystic lesions. Its real-time whole breast can be evaluated. 
uh, better in infective pathology and tender breast, vascularity can be commented. Limitations, micro calcifications can be missed. Patent air can obscure the lesion. Intracystic contents, sensitivity is operator dependent. Isoechoic and multicentric lesions can be missed. Well defined malignant lesion can be mistaken as benign. Discussion Breast masses are common in female, and amongst all the breast masses, malignant masses are the most feared. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer of cancer mortality in females, where breast cancer in men accounts for only 0.7% of all the breast cancers. Uh, patients with palpable breast lesions commonly present for radiological evaluation. Various imaging like MAMO, USG, MRS, CT mammography, and PET are now available. MAMO in breast mass can be used to look for mac micro calcifications and architectural <coughs> distortions, speculated margins, hence to determine the potential malignant nature of the lesion, also to screen for occult disease in the surrounding tissue. USG is the perfect adjunct to the MAMO since both the modalities are easily available, relatively cheaper and can take relatively less time. Initially, ultrasonography was only used to differentiate sol solid from cystic masses. Ultrasonography effectively differentiates solid lesion from cysts, which accounts for nearly 25% of breast lesion. Now, it can be used to evaluate dense breast usually below 35 years of age in breasts where well, solid lesions and cysts are obscured by MAMO due to dense fibroglandular tissue. Ultrasonography helps in diagnosis and to decrease the number of surgical biopsies. It is necessary to evaluate the complex cysts or which need repeated aspiration since they can harbor malignancy. Ultrasonography can be used to differentiate benign from malignant lesions with negative predictive value of 99.5%, specificity of 67.8%, and overall accuracy of 72.9%. The specific sonographical features you determining the benign nature of the lesion include intense hyperechogenicity, ellipsoid shape, gentle lobulation, thin echogenic pseudocapsule, and less than four gentle lobulations. Malignant nature of the lesion is given by speculations, angular margins, shadowing, microlobulation, and microcalcification. Though a definitive diagnosis is possible with non-invasive non -invasive imaging procedures, for most lesions, histopath or cyto are proven tools and essential for obtaining confirmed diagnosis. Conclusion, our study confirms the high combined specificity for ultrasonography and mammography for detection of breast masses using, including malignancies. USG is better in cystic lesions, ectasias, infections, and inflammatory conditions, pregnancy, lactations, dense breast evaluation, real-time image guidance, where MAMO is better in detecting uh, macro calcification, speculated masses for early detection of uh, occult malignancy for stereotactic biopsies. USG and MAMO cannot replace each other, but to suggest single modality, ultrasonography is better in younger population and BIRADS 1, 2, and 3 lesions, where MAMO is better in older population and BIRADS 4 and 5. And sonomammographic correlation is best in both. Extra breast lesions can mimic breast mass. Its awareness and careful cross-sectional imaging can be problem-solving. Here are the references. Thank you.